My name is Manny Kratzios. We're here at uh, the St. Michael's uh, new facility uh, at 1220 uh, Front Street in Uniondale, uh, Long Island. Uh, I am on the Board of Trustees and uh, co-chair on the construction committee together with Nick Jardzalis. We started this process about five years ago and we put a great team together consisting of uh, Slice Architects, a very reputable architectural firm in Manhattan, uh, Pavlak Contracting, who's our construction manager, and uh, the Philbin Group. This is an exciting project. We have a facility here, three interconnected buildings, uh, 100,000 square feet, uh, two stories, 11 beautiful acres. Uh, and our dream is that at the end of this uh, uh, construction, the renovation project, uh, this will include 150 beds. Currently, the facility in Yonkers has about 60 beds. Uh, unfortunately, it's mostly uh, an adult care facility, uh, but this facility that we're renovating right now will basically allow us to do independent living, assisted living, memory care, dementia. So anybody who comes to this facility will be able to join us from the very beginning to the end of their uh, lives. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Nick Jarjalis. I'm on the construction committee for the St. Michael's Home Development. Uh, we're standing basically at one of the entrances to the, uh, to the facility. And uh, what you see behind me is a combination of uh, some of the living wings and the chapel in the center. The part of the building on the far right is essentially the main dining area. So essentially up until the large columns, there is the uh, main entry foyer. Reception is gonna be over here. And behind is where the chapel is gonna be. So the first stop after reception is a very large dining area. And that leads into an exterior dining uh, terrace that's going to be controlled with uh, landscaping and fencing. To the left here uh, is a small private dining room that can be used by visiting families uh, to visit the residents and they can reserve it for as many hours for parties, get togethers, whatever they like. So one of the uh, nice amenities that we have in the facility is an area that we're going to call the taverna and where that pipe is right now is where the fireplace is going to be. Uh, right behind uh, the, this, this room is essentially a movie viewing room. So one of the great features of the facility is uh, basically an identical interior courtyards um, where we were able to save the, the existing trees and build a, a beautiful garden around it. So behind the chapel, which is to my left, is uh, a two-story space that's going to be the assisted living community room. Um, on that wall over there, once the wall is built, there'll be a fireplace for the community room and behind it will be a library. Uh, the area we're in right now is uh, the assisted living wing, the east wing of assisted living. So I'm walking into a two bed unit, uh, studio unit in the assisted living wing. We have the bathroom on the left side that's going to be shared and each person gets uh, their own closet. There'll be a little kitchenette off to the left and uh, basically side by side bedrooms with a view to the rear yard. Here I'm walking into one of the independent living suites. Uh, essentially they're one bedroom units. The kitchen on the, on the right leading to an open living dining area um, and, and, and a bedroom off to the left with a full bathroom and a private closet. Uh, on the east side of the second floor, uh, there's another row of independent living units and this is a better look at the terraces. Each one of these separations is gonna have a fence on it. So uh, essentially everybody has privacy uh, in their own, you know, for their own terrace. So this, this open area here is essentially um, 
it, it's uh, reserved for the memory care facility. Uh, it's an outdoor terrace that's going to have a, a beautiful pergola and obviously a great view. So the spring of 2024 is our potential completion date. Uh, we've got work to do, as you can see. There's a lot of finished work to do, and we're gonna need your help to do it. It'll make this dream a reality.